potential problems in international location decisions. Also, although there are multiple benefits of operating internationally, when we get more customers, we get more sales, we get more government supports, we avoid barriers, etc. But still, there are some problems that are sometimes avoidable and sometimes they are unavoidable too. Uh, let's discuss those problems that we face when we move internationally. First of all, the first very very basic problem that we face is language barriers that create communication problems for us. The language barrier is being faced with China right now because as an international language, we know many languages. For example, sometimes we know French, sometimes we all of the uh, we all are aware of language of English, English. We are communicating to each other, you and me, with each other with this uh, English language, but sometimes we do not know the language of other people it becomes difficult then to operate with the suppliers there with the customer there because of this language barrier we also face the cultural barriers the culture of different countries are different for example in arab where you are living it's common when you meet to each other you hug each other and sometimes arabic people you might have identified kiss on the cheeks too but if you do the similar practice in USA, this will be considered a very uh, unethical activity. Um, th these are the cultural barriers. Uh, when US people meet with each other, they keep a five feet distance, for example, they just shake hands and all that. Similarly, the culture of Japan is different from the culture of India. For example, in India, Pakistan or Asian countries, when you receive a guest, even if it's a business guest, you just ask him about so many things. How are you? How's your family? How was your traveling? And if you ask the similar things in but USA it will be or in Japan it will be considered the waste of time. Another problem that we face is the supply chain concerns. We might have to face the loss of quality, reliability um, if it comes to the delivery of the goods to overseas manufacturing plants. Um, Zara, a largest um, clothing brand and other uh, um, accessories uh, business, you might have identified that Zara is facing the similar problem that Zara is locating in other countries and all that. It's losing the control over the supply chain. If the business is trying to move on the just in time, for example, where the inventory is needed at the time, the inventory might not be delivered because of that country's issue specifically. And sometimes it might be late or things like that. So we do not have control over the supplies and it becomes difficult for us sometimes to supply on time. Then we have uh, ethical considerations. Ethics in different countries are different. For example, advertising a wine in US will not be a problem, but in Iran, it will be a problem. For example, the dresses of women are different uh, ethical considerations in different countries as a result of that business will have to identify those and find out that what actually going on uh, similarly we might have different government laws and we might need to understand those government laws before deciding the uh, location in some other country so these were few problems that we might face in international locations